Are you looking to add some inexpensive comics to your collection? Well, here's five books that you can get easily for under $100 a piece. Want to know what they are? Just stick around. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And this is a video I have not done in a little while, but I wanted to make sure I continued the series of books that you can add to your collection that can easily be purchased for under $100. And as a matter of fact, the five I'm going to show you today, you could probably get all five for under $100. So it's a cheap way to be able to add some comics to your collection that could be potential books down the road. Who knows? But for the money you'll spend on them, you won't be breaking the bank. So with that being said, let's show the books. So we're going to start with number one. This is Spectacular Spider-Man issue number 139. Now, a lot of people will show you about the first appearance of Tombstone, which is definitely a book to get because there have been hints that he might be showing up at some point, either in the TV universe or in the movie universe. I would probably say more likely TV. But this one is his origin. So not many people may know about this book, and this is one of those under-the-radar books that you could get if he does end up in a TV show. Now, um, I bought this one the day it came out, so I only paid a dollar for it. But probably to this day, you could probably find this book in the dollar bin. So I wouldn't pay more than $5 for this book. But if he's ever on a TV show, that's a quick turnaround. Because if you spend a dollar for it and you could sell it for 10 that's a not a bad profit. All of a sudden, I sounded like Mario from uh, Mario Brothers. All right, next one, we got a DC book. This is Firestorm, The Nuclear Man, issue number one, which is his first appearance. Not a major um, DC hero, but definitely one that people are familiar with. Um, how much did I pay for this one? Because I got a couple years ago. I paid $14.98, which is about what you'll pay. I mean, this one's in a very fine uh, condition. So you're looking between $15 and $25.00. I mean, obviously, a 9.8 is going to be more than that, especially graded. But uh, I've gotten, I think, a graded 9.0 for like 30 bucks. So it's definitely a book that you can acquire that's pretty inexpensive. Next up, especially with the fact that the Miss Marvel movie will be coming out soon. Now, this one I only paid a dollar for because it was a couple years ago before they even announced the Miss Marvel movie. So um, this is probably going to be a lot higher than that at this point. But this is Miss Marvel issue number two. Uh, this is her origin. So that is another book that will slip under the radar. Everybody's looking for Miss Marvel number one. And that one's getting pretty expensive. So this book you could probably get for under $25. Probably in the $20 to $35 range for like a very fine near mint copy of this book. And another book that may slip under the radar, definitely worth getting before the movie comes out. All right, two more, and I will always have plenty of these coming in the future. This is another book that you might want to check out. Um, this is Defenders, issue number 28, which is the first full appearance of Starhawk. That one will be the most likely to be the most desired. Now, he's already showed up a little bit in the Defenders movies. Who knows what they're going to be doing with this character at this point. But also keep in mind, Marvel has stated that the next phase of Marvel movies is going to be more outer space kind of stuff. So you may see this character again. I don't think it will be played by Sylvester Stallone at that point. They might. I'm sure they would do a younger version of the character. But this is a book... Because he's already been sh uh, shown in Guardians of the Galaxy, most people might be thinking they won't use him again, so it is a risk. But you could probably get this book easily for under $20. And uh, still, first appearance of a character that people know about, it might be worth taking the chance on. I paid $4.82 for this, but this is a lower grade book. This is probably a 4.0 to a 4.5. So definitely get a higher grade if you can. Figure for 5 bucks, how do you go wrong? All right, and the last one for this particular, I got this for cover price, but I have several copies of this book. 
Um, especially with the fact that the X-Men eventually will be returning to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Disney. Um, this is X-Men, well, Uncanny X-Men, issue number 244, which is the first appearance of Jubilee. Um, they've tried several times to um, add this character to the movies, and they really didn't do her justice. I always liked that character. I thought she was kind of cool. You know, not every character has to be like, you know, the Incredible Hulk, Thor, or Superman powerful. You know, some with just a specific superpower that they can contribute in some way, to me, makes it more interesting. So to me, Jubilee, I always thought, especially uh, the way she was drawn in the 90s, um, especially by Jim Lee with the sunglasses and everything, always thought she was a cool character. She kind of looked like a female version of Robin, in my opinion. That's probably where they got that from, but who knows? Definitely a character worth picking up. Um, like, like I said, I bought this for cover price back the day it came out, so I only spent the dollar. You'll probably spend maybe $30 on this book on a higher grade. So this is definitely a book to get because if they do her justice with them entering the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you'll be very happy that you got this when most people aren't talking about it. So those are the five books. I will absolutely do more of these. I want to try and keep them you know, fairly inexpensive, so basically these are books that you can pretty much get within any price range. So like I said, a couple of these you might even find in the dollar bin at this point. That's the best time to pick them up, not when they are all so sought after that everybody's driving the prices up to ridiculous levels. That's the worst time to be buying them. So that's it. Um, wait until the end here. You can see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want one, all you have to do is be a subscriber. Make sure you let me know how many fingers I am holding up. And that, in case you can't count, is a total of five. And uh, if you want to be a subscriber, if you want to be a surprise subscriber shout out, all you have to do is hit subscribe and let me know in the comments section. So make sure you wait until the end. Give support to the people who are the surprise subscriber shoutouts. Show them that you guys do watch until the end. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And you gotta love the comics where there's the first appearance of somebody and you have no idea because they're not even on the cover. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to connect with me on Facebook, you can click right here. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you could click right here. If you'd like to get 2% cash back on your comic book purchases off of eBay, you can click here. If you want to hit subscribe and join the channel, we'd love for you to click here. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out.